So here's the start of our homemade guac because we're getting ready to go to South Dakota. Here's our homemade guac. And basically, we're going to film this for the first time on this channel. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping you guys like this for the homemade guac. And let's start. Okay, so first. You... Oh, are we already starting? Yeah. Okay. So are you showing them everything on here? Yes. Okay. Basically, we have avocado. We have minced garlic. You need the minced. Cilantro cut up into little pieces. Um, green onion. We originally used white onion, but we ran out and we couldn't go to the store because it's really late right now. So, and then you also have some cherry tomatoes cut up and you are going to want some jalapeno juice. Just the juice, not the peppers. You could do peppers if you want. And you're going to need some lime juice. So, let's begin adding it all together and cutting. Okay, so, um, can you make it so that I can see us and you can come work with me? You can't? How come? <laughs> okay, well, that's not exactly what I was thinking. I thought you were going to be with me. Hold on. Well, we're going to have to do a part two then. And we're going to have to clap it. Well, I'm just going to be filming. If you need to see my face, Mom, just hold the camera and you'll see my face. Okay, let's see your face. Easy to see my face. That's the face I like. Behind the camera, the camera holder. We don't have big equipment. But. Okay, so we are getting ready to go because we are going to South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the messy counter. Just look at the stuff we're packing. Yes. Okay, and back to where we're at now. Olivia already explained some things to you, so I'm going to hand the phone back to her. And this is Selena, by the way, slash mama. Okay. And if you know, we have another channel called Mac B. Lala, and this is Mac B. Mama. Very true. Okay. Three cups of avocados. That's what this is. I well, just... three avocados. <laughs> three ripe avocados. <laughs> I don't know what the cups equal, but maybe one avocado is one cup. Anyway. Let's hope. <laughs> when I have the shell, I cut it in the shell, and then I scoop it out with a spoon. So we've already done that part. Now I'm going to use my fork, and I'm going to mash it a little bit because we don't want our chunks to be big. We want some chunks, but not a ton of chunks. So... Can you see the mashing? Yes, we can. Okay, so mash, mash, mash. Then... Sorry, if there's a little glare, there's a light. <laughs> Do I need to turn that off? Sure. How's that? That's better. Perfect. Okay. Mashing it up. And hold on. Let's do a good view of you. See you and the mashing. And it would help if we had a light, so... There we go. Why don't we do that light? Perfect. Now we actually look like we have good lighting. So there's the mashing. See, it takes very little time to mash avocados. They're very easy to mash and mush. By the way, one of these avocados was as hard as a rock yesterday. We got it at the West Side Market. And- Cause we're in Ohio. We are, we're packing. Our trip is to South Dakota. So we'll be talking about that when we're there. Um, but right now, what I'm saying is the one really hard avocado, I stuck it in the window and then this morning it was soft and easy to use. So if you have hard avocados, you just put it in your windowsill right there, let the sun get it and it'll, it'll work magic. Okay. So that's mashed. Mm -hmm. Now, these are our directions. Three ripe avocados. One medium tomato or lots of cherry tomatoes. We used cherry. So yes. I already cut up some cherry tomatoes. We used cherry because they're easier to buy. Well, least expensive. Um, I don't think 
that's why we used them. I think we used them because it's what I had when I made the recipe. Mm -hmm. And then we just stuck with it. So, and we actually found a recipe um, online that helped us with garlic. Okay, I'm gonna show you something really quick while we're doing this. Um, so you start with your cherry tomato. Can you see all of what's going on, not just my hands? Yes. Face. <laughs> you smiled, but the camera can't see you. You're behind it. <laughs> Face. Okay. <laughs> so then we're going to cut them in to just like cut them in half long way. Mm -hmm. Then cut them in half long way again. That's like okay. fourths. And make sure you don't cut off your fingers. Very wise. Very <laughs> wise to not cut off your fingers. Also, don't use fire without adult supervision. There is no fire in this video. <laughs> oh, to be eight again. Okay. So. Hey, I'm not eight. You are for no. another few days. Okay. So we're going to finish cutting these up. Don't mind her hand. My hands are going to be here because I'm using them. And I'm going to, I don't know what you're whispering. Um, I'm going to scoop the rest of these into our mix. Which looks really pretty right now. Yep. And it has like really nice texture. Okay. And this is the type of cilantro you want to use. You want to make sure you cut it up with scissors and that it's in the right okay. position. Just so you know, because I put a lot of stems on the top of that. But usually, can you see what's going on here? We can, um, that's a little high. Maybe you should back up a little bit because I'm just trying to make sure you get a good view. Okay, so I've already cut the very ends off and I don't like to waste and I don't see why that's not edible. It is edible. So I just usually cut them, get all that leafy stuff cut off, but then I keep cutting. And if you don't want all of it, you don't have to cut it all. You can leave that part out, whatever, but that's why you see all the stems on top because I had them all on the cutting board and then I kind of threw them in last second. Okay. And if you waste, that's kind of not good for the environment, so. <laughs> well, we just don't like to waste. Yeah. Okay. One half of a medium yellow onion, but we're not using a medium yellow onion. We're so using- So we have to use green. Green onions. And our green onions are um, actually pre-cut because I cut them already. Mm -hmm. And you will notice in our videos that we do a lot of just changing our recipes because that's how we make them. That's how you make good recipes. You try okay. them. So we've got all that cut up. Those are going in. By the way, I like to cut my green onions with my kitchen scissors also. Then the next thing on the list is one tablespoon minced garlic. This is how we measure our garlic. Open this bad boy up. May I please have a fork? You may have a fork. Hold on. Let's let her take the camera. Come on, girly. Hi. Okay. <laughs> now, fork. It's about a tablespoon, so mm, something like that. That's how we measure. And it smells good. Okay, next thing on our list is a tablespoon of lemon juice. We used lemon juice last time. Olivia would like to use a lime this time. Because limes are very good in guacamole. They are, and I think the original recipe that we kind of altered was um, lime originally. Yeah. Are you um, focused on anything, or what are you looking at on your phone here? I'm looking at you. Okay, I just want to make sure, because I'm going to cut this, so I don't know where you're okay. at. Okay, now we'll look at the lime. Okay, so we're going to cut our lime, and then we're going to squeeze, basically. It's a tablespoon, right? So I'm guessing good-looking lime just get that all in there. And limes are very juicy, but they are less juicy than lemons. So to get the juices out, they're not really less juicy. They're pretty juicy. But I'm going to use my fork. If you're going to be my cameraman, you got to be focused on what's happening here, girlfriend. Okay. 
I'm gonna use my fork and just kind of work that pulpy stuff because that's gonna help me get all my juice out. Squeezing it, I'm squeezing it. And see, I'm gonna let Olivia eat the rest of whatever we don't use because she loves to eat them. Did you see all that juice fall in? Mm-hmm, yeah. Citrus, limes, and lemons, and oranges, anything that has citrus in it is usually very juicy. How do you think they make orange juice? Juice. Okay. So, one more time. Perfect. Get as much as we can out. There. Now she's going to love this as a snack here after this. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. Next thing on our list is a half a cup of chopped cilantro. So we have? I'm guessing it's a half a cup because We're... we just do what we feel like doing. So, okay. Does this look like a half a cup? That looks about like a half a cup. Yes. Okay. Bam. Good. Now, what's next? Next, you are going to want to add your jalapeno juice. Um, chopped cilantro. Oh, we need table salt. Oh, we need two one eighths. One fourth. No. Honey, you did one fourth twice. You're going to do two one fourths of salt and that's very important two one-fourths not two-fourths you don't you don't want two-fourths you want two one-fourth tablespoons okay so don't mind the messes olivia decided the one-fourth is what we were using but she also decided i came up with it that way twice okay one and it actually doesn't overpower two. so it's very really nice. Okay, that's nice that. You. Next, we are going to put in a tablespoon of jalapeno juice. We call it jalapeno. It's jalapeno. Okay, it's jalapeno juice. Correct. So, a tablespoon. Ready? Mm-hmm. She that just measures. Looks like a tablespoon. She yeah, measures. Maybe. Maybe that. She measures like that. Just notice that it's. <laughs> we. We just average it out. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes we have to actually do a better job of measuring. This is guacamole, so it's kind of really whatever you feel like. It's really easy to just take away things, add things. You can substitute yellow onion. We just substituted with the green onion. We substituted lemon and lime. Mm -hmm. um, those are interchangeable. So and you the could... original recipe called for jalapenos. We ate all the jalapenos. <laughs> so we decided that we were just going to add the juice because it still tastes the same. And it doesn't matter if you do cherry tomatoes or regular tomatoes because either way it's tomatoes. I actually like the taste of the cherry tomatoes a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, Something about it's just a little different. It has a better flavor, I think. Yeah. Okay, so... We have gotten to the point where we're going to mix it all together. So let's go ahead and do that. It's very pretty too because you like to watch it because it mixes well and it looks so nice. And often I we have a rule that's no phones at the table. But if our food looks really pretty on accident or <laughs> on purpose, we just take pictures and we're like... We can break the rule this time because it's like really, really pretty. Right. Exactly. Okay. And what this is think? this is pretty really easy, right? good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I also have on here that you're going to mix all your ingredients together and enjoy with tortilla chips if you're Olivia or rice and black beans if you're me. Or you can spread it on toast and top it with bacon, which was one of Olivia's ideas mm -hmm. because she thought it would be really good. Just kind of like... The avocado toast that you can get at Dunkin' Donuts. Is that where you get it? Yeah, you get avocado toast at Dunkin' Donuts. It's new, and you can also get bacon on it. 
And if you are a Dunkin' Donuts owner and you want us to promote you, just let us know. <laughs> okay. So then we're gonna go over here and get the chips. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna switch your places. And I'm gonna take a chip. I like my chips small, so. Let's see it go to town. What do you think? Did it pass the test? Mm -hmm. It's super good. 100%. And the taste of the Clancy's chips just gives it off a really... <laughs> Any brand tortilla chips. Any, Any brand. We just use these because they're closest to us. Ah. And if you just lose some, it's okay. You're fine to still eat it. Okay, so I guess that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. This is our late night guacamole before we hit the road and head to South Dakota. Back mm -hmm. to packing. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>